everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day. If you're new around here, my name is Jasmine and today I'm wearing a hat inside. So today I wanted to do a haul of all the things I've sort of been accumulating over the past, I'd say week or so. I've had a bit of a cheat week. I got my student loan through and I was a little bit naughty with it. <laughs> so I picked up a few things. I've just got a really random assortment of things. I've got some beauty, uh, skincare, uh, homeware and a new phone as well so let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I got and I'm not really sure if you can class this as part of a haul because my phone was due an upgrade anyway but I got a new iPhone which is really exciting for me because I've had an iPhone 4 for the past two years. I'm not sure why I chose to get an iPhone 4 but it survived for two years I dropped it down a toilet, I smashed the screen into a million pieces and it's only just survived up until now. So I was really excited when the upgrade notification came through and I ran to Carphone Warehouse and I picked myself up a shiny new iPhone 5S uh, which is here. So I'm really excited because I know I know loads of people have had these phones for a while now but for me it's like oof, shiny and sleek and futuristic and the screen's so big and the camera's so good so I'm so excited. I've got a lot of plans for this, I'm probably going to do a what's on my iPhone video and things like that so new iPhone, yay! Next couple of things I got were from a Boots order. I placed an online order um, and I used my Boots points to collect these items. So the first thing I went for is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is obviously very popular. Lots of you will recognise this, lots of you know about this. And I can't actually believe it's taken me this long to buy one. I mean, I've watched a lot of tutorials and things and this has been the thing that people use to get their foundation looking really, really awesome. So I'm so excited to try that one. And then the next thing on my order was something that YouTube made me buy. It's one of the NYX Lingerie. Uh, it's a matte liquid lipstick and it's in the most beautiful dark brown shade. Um, I've already had a little swatch of this and it stays on really well. That's a swatch from two days ago So it's really not going anywhere and it is a dark brown with some sort of I Want to say warmish. It's a warm toned brown There it is. Sorry. I've been doodling on my hand all morning at work <laughs> But it's absolutely amazing. It dries completely matte um, you can overdraw your lips really well. It makes you look like you've had Botox even though you haven't. So that's awesome. <laughs> and that one was £6.50. They're really affordable and I definitely recommend trying one of these colours out if you're not sure. I 100% recommend these and even though you can't buy them in stores and you can't try them out before you buy them, I definitely say it's worth having a little look and seeing if you fancy a colour. So I've got some more items from Boots as well. These are things that I actually did pick up in store. I was just walking around town one day and I accidentally went to Boots, as you do. So one of the first things is my matte nail paint by Barry M, which is what I'm wearing now. And it is very matte. Mine's really chipped at the moment, so don't really look at it. But this is an awesome nail paint. It is completely matte, and they've got a few really, really nice colours as well. They do a burgundy one, uh, a mocha sort of colour, a cream sort of colour. They're really nice, and they are matte, and they look really, like, professional, sort of. And these are really cheap. I think they're only 3 99 um, so I'm definitely going to get a few more colours of this. This is really nice. It's been on my nails constantly since I bought it. Also went to pick up a new bottle of Cerazinc, which is one of my holy grail skincare items. I can't live without it now. Since I discovered it, I've just been going through it like nobody's business. And at the moment, or certainly when I bought it, it was on some kind of special deal at Boots. So I got it for about £6.37 very precise but this is a toner and you spray it on your face after you've washed it and before you put like your spot cream on and it tones your skin mattifies it um, tightens all the pores and it works to help reduce spots and even out your complexion as well so this is my baby and always a repurchase then I went to bargain buys which might not sound like a place for beauty but actually it is I picked up my touch of silver color care conditioner moisturize and shine purple conditioner which I use on my hair to keep it looking silvery uh, very pale blonde it knocks out all the brassiness and it keeps your hair in actually quite good condition I mean I still do a deep treatment on it every now and again just because my hair's really dry with the amount of bleach I use but this is an awesome conditioner and it helps keep your color really nice and true silvery blonde so if you go to bargain buys for this rather than like a boots or a super jug you're gonna get it for a 
probably like a third of the price this cost me £1.20 I'm pretty sure so it's definitely worth looking around in those bargain shops for this kind of thing also from bargain buys is the original source shower gels I've got a few of these in a few different scents because I can't get enough of these they're cruelty free vegan natural smell like you can eat them they're completely beautiful and <sighs> And if you get them from bargain buyers, they're only a pound. So can't go wrong with that. It's much better than paying full price in a Boots or a Superdrug. Sorry, Boots and Superdrug. But it's such good value just to shop around a little bit and get the same amazing product for a lot, lot cheaper. So yes. Next, I've got a couple of items that my mum actually sent me from Australia for Christmas. They were really, really late Christmas presents. Like, I, I think Australian shipping mail takes like six weeks to come. So I got a NARS light reflecting powder which I'm so excited about I've wanted one of these for the longest time they're so luxurious NARS is my favorite makeup brand ever and it's so rare that I actually get to buy anything from them because they're a little bit on the pressed side but I've been dying to try this powder I'm really excited to use it um, it works to like well I think it works to like help you set your highlight and to make your skin look really like radiant and glowing but I haven't actually tried it yet apart from swatches for pictures for my blog but I will let you know obviously how I'm liking that and you'll probably see it in a lot of get ready with me's in the future. Second thing is a MAC retro matte lipstick which is in the shade studded kiss and it looks like that it's really dark brownish red really vampy really beautiful I'll give that a swatch too so it's the second one down really vampy really beautiful can't wait to wear it so it's a matte probably really good for autumn so in fact i'm seven months ahead of uh the fashion next thing i went into sports direct can you believe and i got this hat this is part of my haul video i've really really wanted a cap for a really long time i have 100 percent jumped on the bandwagon and i feel you know weird about it I never thought I'd be one for a baseball cap, but apparently I am. The thing I love about this is that it hides my roots really well and it stays on really nicely in the wind, unlike my fedora. And I just think it's a nice, you know, cheat way of not washing your hair. <laughs> Next is a mason jar, jug, cup, sort of straw jar. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this. I'm just going to call it a glass, I think. But um, I found this in Bargain Buys as well, actually, in their homeware bit. And I've absolutely wanted one of these for a really long time. But the only places I seemed to find them were selling them for about three or four pounds. And I thought that was a little bit expensive considering it's just a jar. So I did a little bit of shopping around and eventually I found one for a pound in Bargain Buyers. So that's awesome. I haven't used it yet, but I'm dying to. I think this is going to be so cool for like smoothies in the summer, like juices, like crushed ice sort of drinks. Mojitos. And they do these in all different colours, like you can get sort of purple jars, you can get different colour straws, different colour lids, they're awesome. Next I got a couple of magazines, now I wouldn't normally show magazines in my haul, um, but this is Cosmopolitan, um, that's not really that interesting. But then I also picked up a Glamour, and the reason I'm showing you this is because of the free gift it came with, which is the Balance Me Radiance Face Mask in there. Now that was all over people's blogs a few months ago, so when I saw it, bearing in mind Glamour's only £2 and it comes free with that, I think the face mask is worth about £20-ish, I want to say, but uh, it's been raved about on people's blogs, so I was really, really excited when I saw it and I picked it up immediately. I don't even read Glamour, really, because it's just not my kind of thing, but definitely that Radiance face mask is worth a buy. If it's still about in your local shop, I'd definitely say go and try it. I cannot wait to try it. I'm so excited. And then the final thing in my haul, I went into H&M and I really shouldn't have done this, but you know, sometimes a girl just needs to buy some new underwear. And for those of you who don't want to see underwear, click away now. I don't really know if you're like, I don't know if it's like wrong to show your new underwear on your YouTube channel. I don't really care. It's really pretty. I wouldn't show you if it was just some like Primark pants. So, it's this underwear set which is so beautiful I don't know how to describe it but it kind of reminds me of like triangle bikinis which I'm such a fan of and um, so it's a set like this the underwear is like a thong with the same black piping around the top 
and this like peachy beigey oh it's just beautiful color the pants were 5.99 and then the bra was 12.99 so not actually that expensive it came to about 19 pounds in total but i can't get over how beautiful it is i put a picture of these on instagram and people were just really loving them so I'm very happy with those. Sorry, student loan. So that is my haul, guys. I really hope you enjoyed having a little nose at what I've been buying lately. Definitely look out for reviews of all of these on my blog coming up soon. As always, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Apart from that, guys, I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.